what's up guys welcome back again to another android versus windows video and this time guys i am not comparing any of the application or software that uh, unlike previously i have done before so this is a, a video in which i am going to compare two of the new uh, mobile operating systems that are under development right now and they have not been out so and this is the nexus 6p running android and developer preview 2 and this is run lumia 640xl running windows 10 mobile even though windows 10 mobile is officially out but the windows 10 mobile is uh, running under the preview program itself from the last couple of uh, exactly more than a year we can say it's almost 14 to 15 months is running uh, starting with february 2015 so uh, being a you know uh, even though people use smartphones of different different OS like Android, iOS, BlackBerry, but they do somehow have some some kind of feeling of okay what that other OS looks like even though they don't have devices with me, and also for the people like me who really like smartphones and they are technology fan why who like all the platforms so I don't have any partiality I like all platform being Android fan it's not biased just to skip other OS to like. Uh, you know windows or ios all stuffs always are great depends on you know what is the good what is bad here yeah. so just want to show you guys because nexus 6p a skin from the gadget seal skin of a skin case so if in case you want to make your phone personalized as i have done so make sure to check my previous video i will put the link in the show notes it's quite durable and very tough and hard so almost uh, more than 10 days now i didn't find any scuffing at all everything is perfectly glued make sure you have to apply that and then this is the protector from the nilkin so make sure to also to in enroll the contest that is going on this month for international template last giveaway and this is lumia 640 xl and this is oem back panel case uh, brought from ebay india so make sure to check that unboxing too so and also uh, i've applied here for the mokolo temper class so and uh, this is how it looks like guys and the nokia phones and windows phone they have this glance screen feature and this is similar uh, to like you know ambient display that we have in the nexus devices sometimes you lift that and it works and sometimes it doesn't but anyway it works all the way so i haven't just switched off my phone just want to show you guys all the lock screen content itself we'll begin with the lock screen as you can see uh, the android stuff shows you the lock screen right here uh, the time above and just couple of notifications here so unlike here on the windows they they don't show these kinds of notifications so windows uh, shows only one app notification detail so as you can see i have made security privacy that's why it shows as a content hidden otherwise you can read the complete message from here itself so coming here you can see it windows allow you to show configure up to five you know number of uh, uh, apps shortcut that can show your notification count you can say uh, we can see here the notification account under that so pretty much uh, uh, it's uh, a different different concept in both places here uh, we can see this thing here at a time as i said windows phone allows one app to be shown off and android can be shown here you can uh, do some couple of action here in case it is you have configured you can allow there you can reply from itself here first of all i have taken some privacy concerns so that's why uh, it's uh, hidden so let's unlock it quickly and when most of your guys windows 4 doesn't support this you know pattern unlocking it just uh, take password uh, iris and scanner stuff like uh, windows uh, authentication that is there on the lumia 915 xl that's it and uh, android supports all the way password pin everything else i just take pin only nothing more it's fancy windows stuff that is there so here's the ui looks like guys so windows ui you already might have familiar so i have just taken the same wallpaper in both places just to get that there and you can see uh, android keyboard so this uh, keys are nexus devices are primarily all the flagship devices they make this except the samsung they give on screen keys and you can see and this is how this is similar all the ways here even you can background you can see this is no launcher prime you can watch the review too so unlike uh, there in android windows uh, they are moving here to uh, from the software hardware keys to the software as you can see you can easily swipe and down here so you can make if you're for example watching movies you can make sure it's experience bigger in using that but somehow uh, that depends on people's perspective what they like or not so i personally don't like it there i like to be one having a you know dedicated physical keys like the previous nokia lumia 930 and 1020 phone so i do have 1020 with that that's why i own that phone and windows phone have lots of tile based ui and everything else so as as of now you can see for example uh, this uh, i just sent a message from the same phone here to both the places using this phone the cheapest android marshmallow phone just 60 dollars so make sure to watch and watching video too but uh, the similar way you can achieve somehow and uh, not the text with count you can take that you can have custom launchers for example mac android and preview launchers no launcher prime you can have the you know notification count which shows you you can configure which app you want to see get the unread count like here you can see whatsapp got five and twitter got one so you can do in that way uh, but the uh, windows phone allows you uh, a notification count plus a uh, lifetime message so in case you just minimize it there you can see 
uh, you will just see the notification count here no live tiles so it has three kinds of tile medium small small medium and wide so that way uh, wide only and medium shows only live tile so you can see all the stuffs are moving galleries are moving so this is somehow different kind of design kind of metro layout that starts from windows phone 8 here so we have seen the uh, start screen itself so there is no app drawer here just one screen here but android you can see this is app drawer here this call uh, layout can be different some launchers allow you to scroll above and down some right to left for example android marshmallow and google now launcher they allow pages to right and left and starting from the android marshmallow is starting from up and down so it changes uh, based on version to version but anyway you can have any of the launcher to change that and as soon as you install application it keeps on growing and similar way uh, it's not happening in windows by default any app you install it just comes so you can see i just installed a couple of apps here it came to recent added here and you can just collapse it here and doing that way but uh, android it comes to default here and you can just click on any of the icon here right here you can see options here up into start uh, read and review share and install so this is a very quick way to install that similar uh, way you, you have option here for example if i just take here temple and two uh, you can have the option uh, uninstall option app info edit and if you have some custom launchers for example this nova launcher prime if you just click here it allows you some of the options that you get there uh, so these kinds of things are there uh, based on the launcher wise since the android that's why it's the biggest point there you can modify your phone according to you want you can make it completely personalized in that way also uh, this is how this looks like and now let's jump to the multitasking here i want to show you guys some cool stuff you might have not known so all the android users listen carefully so uh, another android similar there's always a task switcher button so depends on uh, where you are uh, samsung phone some do here old phones and new phones they do here just click here you just need to press it here and it shows you all the stuffs and under the windows you need to press hard here like that a uh, couple of seconds not just a fraction we touched here you need to touch for a couple of seconds here for example you can notice i just as a button i guess i press for two seconds so uh, based on the screen size and you will get these kinds of stuff so for example if you have a bigger phone it will show you these kinds of notification in a couple of uh, rows here and if you have a small phone which is uh, for example 4 inch and 4.5 inch so you're not going to get uh, this in two ways uh, column here so this is sometimes looks good and this is how the blackberry achieves that if you are running the blackberry brave you might have seen uh, they have you know the this one different a uh, small bigger so so many custom fonts they have taken but they look like similar concept here so this is how it goes there now the important point here windows 10 mobile uh, if your phone has at least two gigs of ram and if you're running snapdragon 800 series or above then you can uh, run at a background 60 number of apps in the background and below to that you can just have seven apps like a star screen you can see so one two three four five six seven so uh, if i open one i will get one extra here so only this uh, eight number of maximum apps so start screen you should skip so seven apps you can run in the background so that's pretty shame sometimes i hate that feeling and uh, for example even if you have four gigs of phone this hp elite x it has four gigs of ram snapdragon 820 is yet to out of the market it can still run the only uh, 16 apps so can you believe that guys so i made already dedicated video you can check that there so depends on what microsoft may be doing there so also you can see uh, android uh, phones gives us icons here so you cannot uh, see here uh, but uh, you can go here you, you will find a similar let me show the twitter icon here so how does it looks like you can see uh, almost same icon because this is an icon png file just 40 by 40 uh, pixels or 25 by 20 and if you just uh, minimize it there for example this is the twitter if i just uh, make it there small uh, it's big like that it shows the tile you can see got a similar icon it, it comes to bigger here so that's how it goes here now let me uh, show you guys the notification panel here so uh, there are two ways uh, if you just uh, swipe even it shows you all the stuffs if i just swipe here so you can see uh, starting from here i got five number of toggles here one two three four five so similar here so uh, windows phone also allows five so if your phone has 5.5 inch and above it will show you five otherwise it will show four number of uh, you know, toggle styles here you can see toggle uh, settings here so uh, let me say this is similarity five five you can see how the notification comes like here for example uh, if it is a messaging i just message from the same phone here this uh, cheapest phone here to uh, this phone here so you can see a uh, similar uh, android shows here photos here it looks pretty nice here windows it doesn't show here for the messaging and you can have the quick reply option and you can type in and uh, if i just type here you can have sent from here so uh, uh, i really like the android base because see colorful white and blue and just has a plain black here so uh 
depend uh, what kind of uh, you know if you really want these kinds of worried about these kinds of stuff so uh, you need to choose your platform wisely and android shows your you know a weather notification too but uh, this uh, windows doesn't show that it has the msn uh, you know weather app it shows on the live tile and if you just come further you can see also twitter is there if you just uh, twitter is not uh, if you just click here it's not allowing to show the not, uh, you know reply from there so but uh, here in, you can see under the uh, windows it shows you you can just uh, it's also not showing here so depends on app under need to implement so that's why i set some apps uh, which has this feature implemented you can reply from whether you're running android or windows you can reply from notification panel so also uh, android windows you can see it shows a lot of uh, there's no limit but by default if you just uh, make it fewer it shows you by, as a minimum of three and you can configure uh, which uh, notification you want to be persistent which you want to you know over skipped and hidden so that you can have the two option under the setting here the similar way we, you can have in uh, you know on android 2 you can configure it a priority show peaking popping everything you can do and also uh, you can see a windows store shows you if you install any app uh, similar has a windows android so they have common stuff so if i say here combine so, so if i just combine here guys all uh, all platforms are moving in a similar direction uh, giving what users are want but anyway just windows is just lacks of apps here that's for the biggest drawback otherwise we can see most uh, similar feelings you will get in everywhere else and you can see alarms also you can see here any app based notification comes here directly so this is pretty much similar and if we just expand it here so you have option okay let me just here you can see all the clear all option is here so all things are actually 80 to 90 percent i found things are same so you can just expand it that way you can expand it here so you will get the further nine nine uh, columns here nine kind of tiles here you can change it that way just click edit and you will find that and also uh, windows also allows you to change that by default it shows you three column you can add further to if there are apps number of supported there so you can also if you just uh, there is all setting button here this is also all setting buttons here so just uh, layout is, uh, and uh, some texting and iconing thing is different but concept is same feature is same so uh, you can see there is a search option here search option here and uh, windows has pretty much categorized as a similar with the desktop if you're running windows and desktop then you might have seen you get a similar interface and everything will be same but uh, features may be de uh, varying depart based on device to device so here you can see categorized stuffs are there and uh, but good thing is that android and shows you uh, a quick peeking for example wi-fi is connected so you can easily say which wi-fi network is connected you don't need to uh, you know come inside here for example uh, i need to come network and wireless and click on the wi-fi then it me shows here which is connected what so it should be at least showing here right here uh gis dgobb something what is connected here so this is sometime uh, you know i really i uh, think uh, android windows need to move on it shows you uh, percentage data here but anyway you can uh, same feel the same here in the live tiles that's why this these things are not being uh, displayed in that way because windows allows you the live tile and uh, update in security you can see uh, under windows uh, you have the similar you know phone uh, desktop stuff you can change the active hours when you want to stall when you don't want to stall so these kinds of stuffs are there in windows so it's pretty much the desktop things that you see here to so make the similar experience here all the places else that you want uh, guys want to know and now let me show you how you can close the apps here just press and down for a couple of seconds if you just press here you have the individual uh, closing here or you can just uh, android and shows you the clear all option but here it's not there clear all option should be there you can uh, either close it in that way or you can either cross in that way so this camera has been launched so let me show you guys the windows camera here because that is one of the uh, nokia cameras all are no known for the camera phone so this is how the stock cameras on both phones look like so you can see this is a nokia camera and uh, it gives you many of the options feature like here you can see you can just uh, we'll get out the usual uh, this uh, all the features like uh, pro features you can see uh, white balance uh, iso focus uh, so many things you are getting in here you can easily con minimize it there you can select the auto mode flash you can have hdr features here and this is android camera the here you can see you won't see any on-screen manual controls just here you can hdr on, on and off here on the type you can see on the top side and just flash on and off timer uh, the, here you can get the same via going inside the setting and to get all the features like timer and all you will get there but you have this manual control here and this you can give but windows phone doesn't have slow motion slow motion is there but the phones with you know uh, higher for example snapdragon 800 phones uh, they have this uh, 
slow motion feature and panorama is not there as of now in the windows phone there was a camera app called lumia panorama so you need to install it separately to create panorama shot but it's not built into the uh, camera app so that uh, microsoft needs to fix it out and so let me show you guys some of the quick apps for you so let me open twitter on both places maybe you can visualize and feel how the twitter apps looks like so this is sometimes really might be helpful to you so you can see this is how the twitter apps is there in both the places so uh, and windows one have this black one because nokia have uses this uh, clear black display so it saves a lot of battery so apps are generally designed in the black ui so this is this there and you will have the usual uh, options here notification and uh, trending and uh, mentions and the messages and your me profile so you will also get the same things here highlights view list thing settings if i just click to my profile uh, you will see in that way so how the color comes different here so i've used the same picture here but still it shows me different layouts and color here guys and uh, you have an important stuff in twitter i want to show you guys this i really like and uh, twitter stuff here for example if you're just going to tweet something you just click here in both places you can see how many how does it looks like so uh, windows gives you uh, this is the way i like it there uh, at the rate and hashtags are directly here you can just press here you need to come down here each time so uh, android native stuff uh, apps have to modify this thing for the twitter and so that's why people are using so uh, anyway you can use the uh, you know a uh, finch for twitter it's very good free a new app already have shown you in my previous video so i'll put the link in the show or not you can watch that and let me quickly show you guys on instagram so here's the instagram in both places so and let me switch to my profile here so this is uh, as it looks like if you come here you can see uh, you have the similar posts followers following and edit your profile you just cast name here i all things are pretty much same here icons even the size of the photos you can see are almost similar and you have all the options here so instagram is designed perfectly in the same way twitter is somehow a bit different people say have here the live tiles here you can see all the contacts here this is standard uh, word and files here games are a bit different in both the places it depends on uh, on the you know apis and all things here so there you go guys all the steps i have shown you for the android versus windows so this is first video of this kind if you really want to see further videos of the comparison between the specific for example android marshmallow versus windows and mobile i do have nexus 6 uh, that is just right right now in the charging and the wireless plate so i can show you guys all the stuff so let me in the comments what you think about this video and what more you're looking for in case you like to see these kinds of video again and uh, it's the second time of living guys uh, so i did film that uh, uh, two days back I posted on my Twitter but somehow YouTube corrupted my file it's just uh, three gigs of file I uploaded uh, a lot of time it took and processing everything but uh, again I need to film that again so I'm filming that again so hopefully uh, YouTube will not do that this time so this is sort of behind the scene guys if you enjoyed this video thumbs up button and you can follow me on the Twitter at the support to get all the quick uh, suggestions reply at the moment uh, I used to be all the time on the Twitter and you can follow me on my subscribe on my channel if you like the video and don't forget to watch the weekly an episode of the android and windows app that i posted yesterday so if you enjoyed any app let me in the comment too thank you very much for watching guys and i will talk to you very soon have a nice day ahead